Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome to your daily lighting critique. I think we just lost a recording of the first one where we went through hollies. So let's let's work together. It was a shame that I think we lost it because we had a lot of great points from Bishek, from uh, from Ruby, from Cat. So let's let's bullet point the the notes that we had. Okay, first off, her skin is looking a little bit uh, desaturated. We'd like to to warm it up a little bit. Um, uh, the, specifically, the, the the shadow areas are feeling a little bit green. Um, and, uh, and we, we really, cause again, it's a, it's a warm space, uh, all these warm tones in the, in the scene with the brown steering wheel, the seat belt, her hair, everything is warm. Skin is, is kind of falling flat within that. Um, Kat had a great suggestion of adding some more specularity to the skin. Um, uh, it's feeling a little bit, a, a little matte, a little, a little flat, like a Lambert shader. So let's make sure we add some specularity to that. Um, the eyes, a couple things about the eyes. Um, Abhishek noticed that that the screen left side one feels more white, the screen right side one feels more yellow orange. So let's make sure to even those out. Also, the left one's too bright. So let's make it like the left one in terms of hue, but brightness, let's bring it down. The eye dings are swimming a little bit. Um, you can see it, especially here at the first frame. Ruby had a great call on this. Like if you look, like look at the screen right one on the mom, it just kind of like drops. And same thing with the little, the, the, the child in the back seat. You can see it kind of just swimming over without his eye moving. So we'll just need to make sure to really get those locked in. Um, the inside of the mouth is very dark. Uh, let's make sure to get some fill in there. Seatbelt contact. Abishak had these are last two were Abishaks. Um, getting the seatbelt to connect better with the shoulder, maybe some ambient occlusion or something to get that connected. Guys, did I miss anything? I guess all of it. I think that was it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Wow. All right. Summarize that pretty quick. All right, cool. All right, Nabishek. All right. Back into this. We got the black dot on the card. Uh, that's that's easy enough to clean up. We might have to re-render for the uh, the noise. The other thing I was thinking is that now that we, the, the smoke speed is good, but it's so, ch it's choppy. You know what I mean? Like it's not, um, uh, like something is... It's like it's like we've just slowed it down too much. I would rather it not be there than than be like like this. Unfortunately, just because it is like it's too like da 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 da. da. Um, is there is there? An, I, I'm guessing. Did you pull this from another out like from a um, uh, a source like a? How do I say this? Is this like a stock image of of smoke? Uh, yeah, it's a stock image. Actually, I, want... I added it in the After Effects. I don't know how to do it in Nuke, so I yeah. did it in After Effects. It's, it's a problem, right? Because what, what's happened is we've taken a faster speed smoke that would add like 30 frames per second or you know 29.97 or whatever it was. And by slowing it down, we've now broken the perception of motion and we can see the individual images. Um, so I'm wondering if, like, do you, is there another one that's slower that we could use? Uh, just, yeah, I think I need to find out uh, another, or yeah. else uh, I can uh, do slower with the help of the, there is one more way actually I can uh, do it slow. I think I will try that one. Okay. If uh, that will not work, I will uh, definitely try to find another stock image. That's great. And uh, yeah. I want but to ask else. you oh, yeah, you're one more thing uh, about this uh, uh, jitter thing. Okay. It's only coming uh, on the one light, okay? And uh, I have to use that light in the past AOVs, okay? So uh, if I render it uh, separately in a single layer, will it work? Or I need to re-render the beauty? You just so if you just you're you're saying you have a beauty pass with all the lights? Yeah, and I have. Yeah, and, light, wanted, you, and it's isolated, it's just one light. You could yeah. do it. You could do it. Yeah, you could do it as a separate pass with just that one light. It would just take a little bit of work. Because what you would have to do uh, is you would have to... Uh, Make a separate layer for that uh, light. Yep. So do, do it as a separate pass. And then you'd have to combine those two specular passes... And you'd probably have to roto out the section. Like you just like roto out this area of the new pass 
and then put it over top of the old pass so it replaces it. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you, you'd want to replace what was there in the old one because you want the specular highlights to be there for everything else. Yeah, you can do it. Yes. You can do it. Yeah. The only okay. other thing to, to watch out for, like if you watch right here on the top of the eyeball, um, there's a little thing that creeps up there. It's almost like the edge of the eye. You see that? There's like a, it's, um, So just just check out right up there on his on his eye. I think something white yeah. going on up there. Yeah, something uh, flickering, flickering, right? Some flicker yeah. is there. Yeah. Just take a look. Okay, I will check it out. That cool. also. All right, great. Let's hop into uh, the stills here. So we've got a few to go through. Um, blah blah blah. We've got Aaron DePauli. Okay, cool. Um, Aaron. I know you're working, so I wanted to. Yes, hey, hi. hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> okay, great. That worked. Look, uh, before before we started, yeah. Sorry, we don't need to go through the whole thing. I, I'm just happy it worked. Okay, cool. So, um, uh, let's talk about what you what you are you able to talk? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Talk about it. What did what did you update from yesterday? What did you learn? It looks like the shadows are softer. They look a lot better. Everything's everything's look, starting to look really cool. Cool. So, uh, Kat told me about some kind of a. Adjustment. I think it was Cat that told me. Um, oh, I don't even know what it's called anymore. There's some button in the light that you can check that tries to do softer shadows. Um, again, I don't think it's like a perfect solution. I would definitely mm -hmm. love to have like the real ray trace like uh, situation, like I do in Arnold. Um, mm -hmm. I also figured out how to trigger um, my lanterns to actually be emissive. Um, there's still lights in front of them, and that's what I do find annoying is that the light source for them is actually in front of. So what you're getting is you're getting a spotlight that's very close to a, an object. It just kind of like burns, and so uh, so I'm I'm kind of I'm gonna look into that. Uh, I relit the uh, cooler in the front because I had I had too many certain types of point lights to where what happens is when you have so many of them together they cancel each other out um, or like they disable shadows or something it's very weird um so instead of the point lights inside i have um i have a rectangular light in the back instead of so it's like it, instead of point lights it's just a it's basically an area light that's like illuminating outward um i cranked up the spec as far as i could on the ground um to try to get some of that like rainy reflected yep. that's in my uh, source or that's in my uh, reference. Um, let's see. I increased. I changed the color of the sky to be more blue, like it is in my reference. Uh, and I readjusted the angle of the sky. No, not the skylight. The directional light. Um, to get like longer shadows, uh, like you were saying, like kind of just more yep. directional from the moon. So yeah. The crazy thing is, like, all of that in Arnold would have been quite a while. This was maybe 30 minutes of work. Like, Wow, that's great. I'm not, I mean, not to say that shorter amount of work is necessarily equal to quality or anything, but, like, you know, it, it's, it's very fast to get some kind of results, you know. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think the shape, I think the position of the legs is looking a lot better. Um, the the main visual notes that I have is like I think the moon shadows could be softer if possible. I know that's a uh, like I think I think they should they should uh, just because moonlight again reads reflect. Oh sure sure sun. sure yeah yeah. Um so th uh this this stands out to me just because the black points are so different from what's around it and it's not reading to me that it's because there's glass in front of it. Like it's okay. it's almost yeah. So I'm wondering if for me because. You know, I you see a lot of. I just saw one of these yesterday. Uh, like they're actually open. Like there actually is no glass on the front of it. So I would even consider possibly just removing the glass and allowing the dark points to fall and like allow it to be darker in there. 
Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll, del- I'll delete yeah. anything to make I'll it delete. better. I'll delete. That is the best note. Can you just delete that? Yeah. So I think I think that because because even if you got it looking right, it would still feel <laughs> lifted and, and kind of like aesthetically wouldn't be the, the best. Yeah. Um, I would love to see some more moonlight on the trees. Like I love what we're seeing kind of along the top of this roof here. It would be great if we could get a little bit of that in the trees up there if possible. Okay. Um, I love what's going on inside this um inside the shop here like this kind of gradient of colors makes it feel like there's stuff going in back there but it's frosted it's really cool um the lanterns are looking neat something wacky going on with this guy right there it's like too blown out right yeah it's, something like the, yeah so like the all these like... lights are all these lights are adding up into that um yeah i'll for sure look into it um yeah. yeah. Okay. But I would, I would, I would just work on those, uh, some of those adjustments for now, and then um, this light coming out of this window, I'm, I'm, it feels like there should be a little bit on the side of this as well. Okay. But I would try and get that on there too. But yeah, let's stick with that for now because this is coming along really well. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, cool, for me, like the biggest thing, I mean, it sounds like it sounds stupid, but like the idea that from this angle, I think the lanterns look cool. Mm-hmm. The feedback I was given was like when you're lighting these things because it's a video game you have to make sure that like no matter where you're at that it looks like that so but like if that if we were to turn the camera around and move down the street mm-hmm. those lanterns don't look illuminated they just look they just look emissive right so, but because there's a because like I said it's not a light inside of the lantern it's a light very close you know and so if I yeah. rotate around that you see that the lights don't rotate with it so it's something I have to look into this weekend but yeah but is it is it because like but the other thing is when you're working with this stuff it's like it's a um uh yes it's a game engine but like if you're not making a game then you don't have to worry about that because like we're using it for the purposes of rendering stills or making images so it's like yes yes and yes and no um it's because that's not our purpose with it so like if you want it to be an interactive scene then for sure but like but for our purposes, I think it's it's more of like a it's just like a straight up still. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Next up, Thank we you. have yeah. You're welcome. We have Dipali. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. We've got uh, about five five different images. Uh, let's take a look at the ref. So really, really like, I I this reference images are are looking really cool. Um, I love like the amount of again, all it's all in the specularity like. All of the, you know, most of these characters are having very low diffusion values. Um, you know, dark tones in the skin, all being picked up in the specularity. Absolutely love it. Great choices. Um, the what we're getting out of the renders is it's a little bit flatter. It's a little bit more um, even. Like like look, just like looking at the difference between, um, like the back of this actually looks a lot like what we have. I don't know if it's the same scene, but like. Um, you know, talking about what we have back there versus like the amount of shaping in here, which is like there's light coming down, it's fading off. We've got some stuff there on the side. Um, you know, just getting some more variation in there. Like it just, it doesn't, these lights are pink, but they don't actually emit anything that's pink. Like I can kind of see it down here, but like it's a little, it's a little odd. And then we've got these tiles on the ground. Um, I don't know if that's just painted that color, if they're actually emitting stuff. But in terms of the characters, you're starting to get it here, right? Like starting to get like that um, feeling of the specular highlights in the skin, but still the diffuse value just feels a little bit too high. Um, so I would. So like if I looked at this and like I would really want to see some uh, like darker values. I'm just looking at the character now that's happening in the set. Really start to fall in there to kind of match what we're seeing in the um, in this kind of reference area. So, so long, long story around that is um, if we're going for this look on the characters, let's start there and then we'll kind of um, see how it falls within the set. So what that means is that there's not a lot of, um, there's not going to be a lot of ambient light in the set. There's just going to be like, we're going to, we're going to have, you know, if there's lights coming out of here, it's going to fall off pretty quickly and allow for some dark values around here. Cause that will embrace and support the dark values on the character. And then kind of only being uh, illuminated by the, um, 
uh, by the specular stuff. But like this shot in particular, like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, like midtone values and not a lot of the um, brights and and, and, uh, and kind of darks. Like this background feels very kind of smoky and, and bright. Um, bum, 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 bum. I keep going on too with like the just this robot here is out of focus, but everything else is in focus, so it's just something to check on there. Um, yeah, and then in terms of the there's also like uh, the other thing I was gonna I would say is there is a lot of color happening in this shot. Like we've got a very, very saturated magentas and cyans, and then we've got this like yellow floor um and kind of these mid tones in the middle. I think what we should do is most of these have a single like this one is just kind of like a pretty monotone it's just like this purple with a little bit of red in there this one is just this one with a little bit of purple this one's mostly blue with a little bit of the the warmth i think we need to minimize the the color scheme a little bit so if you if you just want it to be that magenta and where the cyan go and the cyan color cool let's stick with that let's get rid of the yellow um Let's let's keep the maybe the robots a little more neutral so we can kind of really play off this idea of these two colors um, interacting with each other in this space. Oh, you had a question. Yeah, you said that that this. Oh yeah. So oh, I see. So like what you're what you're seeing in your in your set um, looks very different than what you were actually rendering out. It's probably um, it's probably a color space issue. It's funny because that that looks like yeah because that's nuke. And then that is uh, that is the output. I'm guessing that the color space is 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 different after you've exported. Like so, maybe the way that you're viewing it in Nuke isn't the same as as what's being exported. Um, I would play around with different uh, different file types. Has anyone had any experience with this? Does anyone have any thoughts on on why it would look so different in Nuke versus um, after? And you can see here that you know we're not adjusting the f stop or the the gamma or anything. Yeah, I would think I I th just check your color spaces in your in your settings, um, and make sure that that it is what you think it is. And both is the export and um, in in the right node and in um, the file that you're working in. And if you have any questions, you can send it over, and I can I can take a look too. All right, let's finish. We got Ubaid with a uh, some Luca goodness. Um, I think this is looking great uh some notes i think i think that you know we're, we're starting it's starting to come together really nicely i think overall i would shift um some red out of the um the nighttime colors and kind of go with a little bit more blueness to it and then this is uh this is a big one. This is one that I struggled with and I didn't realize for a long time. Um let's see if we have some reference to this. There we go. Um in the windows, oh, they're kind of like this here. Eh. My biggest thing with um now that I I have uh, been living in a city for a long time is that inside windows, uh it's never like just a solid color like this when we're this close. Um it's usually you usually see things in the windows you see some sort of like uh silhouette you start to see like some furniture maybe a person maybe um there's just there just needs to be a little bit more uh, and it can just be simple geometry like simple primitives in there that kind of break up the shape of that light um, to help with that one other thing is that we're missing so we get these glows around the the patches of light um, and then we, we were missing some darker values in the set too. So like, I think that, I just think that like overall, there's too much, uh, it might be too much haze or something on it. And we're missing some of the darker values um, in some of these areas. Because like you want to feel the atmospheric fall off happen where it's like stepping back in the space, so the haze like builds as we get deeper. But as of right now, it's pretty even across except for this extreme foreground. So I would try and find some more darker values in some of these areas as well. Really cool stuff. 
like you can see it here, like dark, like darker darks in the foreground, slightly darker or slightly lighter, slightly lighter, and then we get further as we get further back, the darks aren't quite as um, aren't quite as light. All right, last up we have uh, we have Austin. Me. Hi. So, uh, so talk a little bit about it. Like, what do we got going? Um, so one of the biggest things that I changed was I, um, sorry, uh, sorry, I, um, I added the spotlight to the, like, right side of the mm -hmm. face to add to, like, bring that up a little bit more. Yeah. Um, what else did I do? I, um... Well, the matte lines around the edges seem really cleaned up. I think, um, I see the eye things are back in place now. I think everything's looking really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. On, only note. And this is, and 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 somebody else stop me if you've got anything. Is I start I, I see a little bit of faceting around the shoulder, like a little bit of like the the polygons. I would just smooth that geometry, a little bit and see if that works. Okay. Great. Yeah. Sure. I for some reason I'm seeing it as it's like this angle at this this time. Um. Anybody, I think this looks really beautiful. I think it looks really good. Um. Let me just try one thing really quickly, just in case. Gonna try to saturate the reds just a touch. I think I think that I think pulling just a little bit of red out of there would be good too. But yeah, I think this looks great. Let's take a look at it on Monday, and I think we'll be ready to clap. I think it looks good. Thank you. Oh, all right, <laughs> all right, cool guys. All right, I have to hop, but you all are wonderful and. Um, Thanks for, I had a technical issue earlier. Thank you guys for bearing with me today. Um, uh, and also my camera's still off for some reason. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you soon. All right, happy lighting, everybody. See ya.